Inspector Clouseau's residence. One moment, please. Mr. Sauter. Hi, Captain. <laughs> we finally get to Lake Erie. And what do we got for wind? Well, what do you think? Well, it's June 11th, 2008. We're out here on Lake Erie. Skies are blue. Not too many boats out on the water. The winds are essentially calm. Still a good day. Cheers. This is this is what 0.8 miles an hour looks like. Right, Dwight? That's right. <laughs> feel the you feel the breeze through my hair. <laughs> what you're looking at, folks, right there, 0.8. What you were looking at is a nuclear power plant cooling tower and that, that's just about a straight of no wind plume of condensated steam that you're ever going to see. Thank you. Call back. All right, smart ass. What's the electron configuration of plutonium? <laughs> 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6, 4d10, 4d14, 5s2, 5p6, 5d10. 5F14, 6S2, 4F, 5F14, 7, 5F7. What you're looking at is Dwight Sauter doing what he does best when there's no wind. Breaking a bottle of wine. Sauter, I don't want to ask you if you need any help on that because I'm afraid the answer would be yes. <laughs> Sounded good. Yeah, it's a nice sound. What you were looking at is Dwight Sauter as a captain. Oh, well, that's our destination out there. That's Green Island. That's where we're heading. And in the background, you can see North Bass, South Bass, Rattlesnake, and Sugar. But, Mr. Sauter, I do have that question. If you had to be interviewed today by NPR, uh, would you say that the price of marine fuel has affected the number of boats on this lake? Well, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. The fact that I really don't see any motor boats around here. There is nothing, folks. You're looking at no boats. I mean, we're not talking reduced numbers. We're talking zero. Zero. <laughs> no, it's simple mathematics. There's two half nothings is a whole nothing. What you're looking at is Mayor's yacht. You'll notice that it is not plush with space. Captain Souter, also known as White Feather, uh, that's another story. Uh, at the helm, if you fall to the left, you fall on the uh, on the uh, tramp. If you fall to the right, you fall on a tramp. If you fall off the tramp, you fall in the lake. Okay, and I don't know if you hook yourself to a helium balloon, you go up there somewhere. There is no wind as evidenced by the fact that the prayer flags are barely moving and that the jib is tied back by a bungee cord. Captain Whitefeather, I'm about to give them a tour of the Lake Erie Islands. Okay, we start over here. This is Catawba Island. That's where we came out of. Uh, that little guy right there, that's Mouse Island. And right
right over here in the far distance is Kelly's Island. Number three. Number four, way up there, a little dot there. Uh, right about in there, that's Starve Island. Okay, their ferry we got there. And then we got South Bass Island. It's always easy to tell because it got the, the big monument on it. Move around uh, at the end of South Bass right in there. You got Middle Island. Middle Island right off the coast of uh, Middle Island is Sugar Island up in there. Let's see, and then after Sugar Island, you got Rattlesnake Island. They're right together. Rattlesnake Island behind that. You got North Bass Island. And you got our destination right here, which is Green Island. If you wait long enough on Lake Erie, uh, you'll eventually get your wind back. But the problem is, we're heading back to Catawba Island now. We didn't want a chance at going out that far and not having any wind to come back. I'm going light back here at the helm. Looking good. plastic metal tubes fabric turns into a work of art that's able to still fly across the water.